hey guys, we all want to be able to SPP these things, and yeah, we can do it. It just takes a little time. They usually don't have any kind of security pins in them. This is a, let's see, this is a Falcon uh, SFIC. But you don't see really a lot of people trying to rake these. And what I found is that many times, not all of them, but some of them, you can rake them very quickly. Uh, but you got to kind of modify your technique just a little bit. Let me move that camera just a hair. Because this does get violent. Uh, I like to use bottom of the keyway when I'm raking. That way uh, it doesn't interfere with the top of the keyway tension wrench. Now, traditionally, you put it in there and kind of very gently rake. But what I found is that on these locks, that doesn't really work very well. So what I do is I usually take my pick all the way in, and then I apply a little bit of tension, and then I grab my pick like this. Not like this. I grab it almost like a screwdriver because then you're going to rake very violently while pushing the pick towards the top of the keyway against the tension and you'd be surprised just oop, <laughs> how often that works is <laughs> opening it up to the core that was not part of the plan but here we go it's a six core falcon we just raked it in just a few rakes to control now i'll be honest i just got lucky that doesn't often happen to control usually it just comes open but of course if we've got it to control now we can easily get it open by taking a screwdriver and putting it next to the actuator and giving it just a little turn and now we're open again I, I have to tell you I was lucky uh, doesn't happen very often to get it to uh, to control but raking it open does happen very very frequently with many particularly the six pin cores a little bit rarer, a little bit more difficult uh, with the seven pinners, but believe me, it's still absolutely possible, and, and it happens that fast. Anyway, thank you for your time. Everybody stay safe, uh, stay legal, and uh, enjoy the video. All right, let's try that again. I can't believe how fast that damn thing opened, especially to control, so I just got to do it again to prove it to myself. All right, a little bit of tension, shove this thing all the way back, and rake the hell out of it. Lightning's not going to strike twice, I can already tell. I'll be damned, look at that. It did work strike twice. That one must be really vulnerable to raking to control, obviously. Alright, anyway, it does work. Alright, that last one was kind of easy, I'll admit it. This is a, another, another one of the safety first best locks. And this one is, I don't know, it's, I don't know who makes this core, it's one of the generics. But we're going to try that same technique. This one, this keyway is just a little bit more restrictive. But we'll see if we can't uh, rake, at least rake this thing open. As I said, they usually come open rather than to control. All right, in, rake the shit out of it, and there we go again, <laughs> fellas. Excuse me, uh, I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. I'll be right back. All right, fellas, I'm having trouble believing how <laughs> lucky I've been this morning. So I've grabbed yet a third best lock. This one has a another core. This is a an original best core, and this one has seven pins. So I can't believe that we got those other two to control. But uh, I want to prove to you that you can rake these things open uh, using this technique. Uh, you're not going to get them to control very often, but uh, you can get them open. All right, so shove it in. Light tension or moderate tension and just rake the devil out of it and usually it'll come open within a <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> or the core will come out as you see here so I guess um, what we're proving with this rough raking technique hundred percent of the sample size says that it is impossible to rake a best uh, or SFIC open uh, but it is absolutely possible to rake one to control every single time. So there you go. Thanks for your time. Okay, it's a little harder than I thought with seven pins, but I got it to core again. All right. And there we go. Jesus. <laughs> This is getting too easy. I'd like to make a plug for my old cowboy friend, Bosnian Bill. He and I go way back to our time in Texas when we were rustling together and moving cattle into Mexico. Now, I admit his constant drinking, drugging, and chasing women ended him up in jail many times, and eventually prison for a short while, 
but he seems to be a changed man now. I heard about some things that happened to him in there, but at least it mellowed him out and taught him how to pick locks. Anyway, this lock picking stuff seems to mean a lot to him, and I'd consider it a personal favor if you'd just subscribe to his piddly ass little channel and listen to him talk himself to death. He works hard for you folks, and new subscribers always seem to keep him spun up. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you commenting there, hopefully in a good way.